Way Hill has taken over a police service riddled with controversy over officer misconduct, accusations of racism, the questionable dismissal of two chiefs, declining public confidence, slumping employee morale, and rifts between management and police associations that led to a non-confidence vote in the previous chief. I think the story of the Saskatoon Police Service is a story of people working together to make a difference. The Saskatoon Police Service is an excellent organization because uh, first and foremost there's pride in this team. You can rely on not just the uniformed constables on the street, but the constables and sergeants from other sections. Return on investment is a phrase we used a lot at the police service uh, in recent years. I think it's important to be able to prove your case to a city council, to the board of police commissioners, to the city of Saskatoon. We cost a lot of money to operate and people want to see what they're getting for their dollar. You think of the crime rate that we had in our community, uh, it's dropped by over 12,000 real crimes in the city. So all these things are compounding and uh, really making the city a safe and secure place for people to live. One of the things that uh, really stand out for me is the uh, relationship that the police service is with the Aboriginal community. In Saskatoon, the, uh, the Aboriginal population would comprise about 22% uh, of our overall population. And unfortunately, a huge number of the Aboriginal population is very marginalized, uh, living in poor housing, uh, poverty. Historically, uh, many of our people in the First Nations community uh, have, been, uh, have complaints of either over-policing or under-policing. Growing up, there were two things you were afraid of. That was social services and the police. You were always afraid of the police. Even if you did nothing wrong and they pulled you over, you were scared because you just did not know what could happen. 10 years ago, we were in a situation where um, the, the public um, was having some issues with us uh, because of things that had happened in the past. The trust level in the community was at its lowest levels and uh, the morale was bad. Our morale 10 years ago wasn't very good here. It was hard to uh, to go and do our jobs because it was felt that there was a, a dissension among the troops basically. We didn't back away from the issue and pretend there was nothing wrong. We knew we had problems and uh, we knew we had to make changes. The current police chief has done wonderful work reaching out to the Aboriginal community, dealing with them along with the officers. Chief Wayhill has gone out of his way to gain respect with the Aboriginal community. You have to form a relationship before you can form respect. And I, and I see over the years the work that he's done to form that relationship and to gain the respect of the Aboriginal community. I think we've made a significant progress with the relationship with the Aboriginal community. It takes time to heal, it takes time to build trust, and, uh, and those are the things that we're working on. Some of the changes I've seen is that there's so many more officers who are uh, in our community who are attending uh, community functions, who, who participate. And then when you have police officers come out and participate in events and the kids see that you can have fun with them, well that's building that relationship that gains respect. We wanted to uh, restructure and uh, redeploy more members back to the street. So number one, uh, the redeployment was important. We just didn't have enough officers on the street. We couldn't get the calls quick enough. It was very unfair of us to ask our officers to write tickets, answer calls, do all the work that needed to be done when there wasn't enough of them. The way that the uh, Saskatoon Police Service is structured now is we went to a geographical uh, accountability process uh, where there is East Division, which I'm in charge of, where there is a Central Division, where there is Northwest Division. What the restructuring has done has allowed us to focus our efforts in one area. I take ownership of East Division. If something happens in East Division, it's my issue, it's my team's issue. The benefits we see from having uh, officers uh, on the beat and on bikes. Number one, it's uh, really good uh, with the citizens that see it because they feel safe because the police are around. A lot more interaction uh, with our members and the general public. Uh, you know, they have the time to have a coffee or sit and talk with people uh, and really interact with the citizens of Saskatoon. The presence of the beat officers and the bike officers uh, who are doing the more face-to-face -face interaction, walking down the street, saying hello, stopping into the business owner and being proactive. The uniform presence uh, is paramount to the success of uh, any crime reduction. Well, redeployment, uh, Comstat, our geographical accountabilities, I think, has enhanced public safety dramatically. 
ComStat is a process by which we measure our success and our challenges. ComStat is about keeping score. We keep score. How are we doing? How are we meeting our challenges? How are we meeting the goal of helping this community? Every month I stand up and I have to account for what I've done. I have to know my business. My team has to know our business. The ComStat has helped us bring down the crime rates. Uh, we're down about 40% over the last uh, seven or eight years. And that means about 12,000 fewer criminal incidents every year in Saskatoon. That's substantial. Since the change in what's happened here over the years, uh, we've got great leadership. You look at our historical neighbourhoods, uh, where the crime rate was truly out of control. Today there's still crime there, there's no denying it. But the fact is, it is a much safer place to live. <music> We've faced a lot of challenges in terms of, a, in terms of an organization, but because of that we're a better organization. The perceptions of the Saskatoon Police Service have improved dramatically both from the business community and with the, uh, the average citizen. The Saskatoon Police Service has a tremendous amount of talent. I think today we have a, a, a service that uh, people, women and men from across the country want to belong to. It's one thing to talk about what you believe in. It's your actions that really show what you believe in. I, I, I think we've had major changes in our city over these last few years. We're proactive, not reactive. We're attacking the problem as it's coming across. People are believing in us. It's Things have changed. Crime is down. Perceptions of the police service has changed. Morale within the police service is higher. Proof uh, beyond any doubt that things have changed in Saskatoon.